Hello, so in this video I'm going to give you a quick update on the seeds that I've been growing on the windowsill in the kitchen um, and some of them are ready for transplanting into bigger pots. So these are the bell peppers that have been growing on the windowsill and they were grown from an actual bell pepper seed. Not These are not packet seeds, these are bell pepper seeds. Um, so there's three. I think I planted about four in that pot. There's three that have come out and they are getting a little bit too big for the pot. So I'm just gonna transfer them into some bigger pots but separate each of the plants so they've got room to grow. So I just made a bit of a hole in here and then I'm just gonna gently break away these individually um, without tearing any of the stem um, or the roots and put them in here. I'm just going to be really, 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 really gentle. There we go. There we go. So that's one out. I'm going to put that one into here. Just want to make sure that the root is firmly packed. And then I'm going to use the rest of the soil. Just take the other two away. And then the rest of the soil just to fill it. Now it's still going to have to stay inside these um, plant pots because it is still a bit too cold on an evening. So maybe towards maybe beginning mid April. Not April, May. Maybe then I might put them outside. We'll just see how strong they grow on the windowsill. If not, then I will be keeping them on the windowsill because it's nice and warm inside. And bell pepper plants do like warm air. Soil needs to be nice and warm. I think that's that one done. Got all that room to grow now. And I'll do the other two. Okay, so cherry tomatoes again, they're growing out the seed trays. So there's some that I'd only just done the other day because some of the seeds didn't take and it looks like another one's not taken. So I might just put another seed in that one. But for these bigger ones, they do need transferring into a bigger pot. So I'm going to put them in these like roughly about three inch size pots. Before I've took them out, um, I've watered them so the soil will break away pretty easy and when you do take them out as well make sure you don't pull the stem you should really take them out with the leaves and try not touching the stem because it's really really delicate um, I've got chopstick that I'm just going to gently prise out the tomato without tearing any of the stem and getting them out pretty easy Okay, so I've got my chopstick and I'm just going to break away the soil around the root gently and then just grab the leaves and there you go, avoid touching the stem. I'm just going to transfer that into this pot, put a hole in it and then pack in the root and just put a bit of soil around the stem. Maybe just add a little bit more soil on top. And then just give it a little water. Again, these are going to stay in the kitchen because it's still too cold for them to go outside. Yeah. Maybe when they get a bit stronger, the weather gets a little bit more warmer. But for the time being, these are staying on the kitchen windowsill where it's nice and warm. Okay, so here's an update on the windowsill. I've got coriander. Not doing so well with the basil. I don't think some of the seeds took. There only seems to be a couple coming through there. So I might just pop a few more seeds in there and see if they'll take. But the coriander's coming along nicely. Should be able to use that now. Um, these are the pots that I've just planted, the bell peppers. So we've got three of them. Um, my spinach in my pot, we've already used a little bit of it. Some tomatoes that I only sold um, maybe a week and a half ago. And here are the other four 
tomatoes that I've just repotted. So I'm going to keep these on the windowsill just a little bit longer because it is still cold outside um, and when the weather gets better hopefully I'll be able to take them outside. So thanks for watching the video and don't forget if you've got any pictures of your own food growing or if you've got any tips or if you see that I'm doing anything wrong please um, share your knowledge and your experience and share your pictures. Thanks for watching.